What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be doing the best skating drills for a U9 player. We got Mason right here, eight years old, and he's gonna be the demo. You ready? Let's go. Here's a little cheat code for all the coaches out there. You're running a practice, you want things to run smooth. The best trick you can have in your back pocket. You haul on your whistle twice, you say, two laps. Ready? There we go. So this is your default. Anytime you need to transition from one drill to the next, you get two toots on the whistle, two laps, let's go and it just keeps things organized. It keeps the kids under your control. They're going around and that's, you know, that awkward downtime you have between one drill and the next. You can eliminate that all together. Two hulls on the whistle, two laps, and you set up the next drill. You can start the practice with it, right? Gets them all organized, gets them listening, and they all come in at once. Great little trick, two laps. We're ready to start the first drill, let's go. The first drill, obviously, for almost any age is skating. So let's go with the forward stride. All right, Mason, what I want you to do, get on the line and give me that good athletic stance. Posture is really important, so we wanna focus on it. Yes, there we go, we're gonna call out. Let's see those knees bent, let's be on those hollows, right, so we don't want people on, the, uh, on their angles like this. Yeah, not like that, not knees together. There we go, good athletic stance, head up, chest up, ready to go. And all we're gonna do, as fast as we can, all the way down, ready, go. Nice, nice, you wanna explode off of that, good arm swing. That is a decent stride. There's a few things you can look out for. Let's wait until Mason comes back and I'll call him out for you. So with a group of kids, you just blow the whistle every, we'll say five to 10 seconds and you keep sending them, sending them, sending them. They get their break on this end of the rink and then we start again. And this is when you can make your corrections. A few things you wanna look out for, make sure that you call out any kid that doesn't have that good stance. Maybe the first guy in line does have that nice hockey stance. And the next one is like this. Call them out, make sure you're always reinforcing good stance, good posture, you did awesome there. Second thing you wanna look out for, uh, something that Mason did, is you started nice and low, but then you stood up and then started skating. I want you to explode out of this, so stay low. All right? can you do that next one? Yeah. And here, I'm gonna actually get him to do something wrong. Start with two hands on the stick. Do that pitchfork thing, right? And I'll correct you. All right, ready? Nice and low. Good stuff, and go. Stay low and explode. And he's got the pitchfork. Let's go one hand on the stick, one hand on the stick. There we go, now he's pumping. Now he's pumping, that's good. Little forward lean, I like that. So the two hands on the stick, a lot of newer players do that. You're going side to side. It's the pitchfork, the old heave ho. We want the arms pumping. Let's go one hand on the stick, get the arms and legs moving together. That's the first drill, a little forward stride review. Next great U9 drill is to work on the hockey stop. A lot of the players will be able to stop one way, but some of them can't do it both ways. So we're gonna work on that. We can use the blue line, red line, blue line as the stopping points. I like to add in the top of the circle just to get one extra stop in there. There's another setup that I'll show you right after this one. We'll use it for tight turns. You could also just use it for hockey stops. So Mason, we're gonna do a nice full acceleration, right? We work on acceleration on this one as well. You're gonna stop at the top of the circle, then the blue line, then the red line, then the far blue, and the next top of the circle. You got that? That's five hockey stops. And I want you always looking this way. That's the important part. Always looking in one direction. Ready? Go. Good speed, good speed. Nice hockey stop looking at me. Oh, looking the wrong way. That's all right. That's all right. You can fix it on the blue line. Ready? Let's go. You're going to look at me when you stop. Big hockey stop. No, no, no. You got to turn. Your toes are going to point at me. Here we go. There you go, nice. And then up the blue line, looking this way, hockey stop. Yes, one more at the uh, top of the circle here. Woo, and then all the way down, another hockey stop. Woo, nice. I'm gonna do it this way. Mason, he wanted to turn the other way because everyone has a favorite way to stop. So when we go in the other direction, we're gonna stop facing this way. So he's gonna work on his right leg. Ready? Let's go. Looking at me. Boom, a little better on that side. And the blue line, nice hockey stop. Go with that two feet, two foot stop. Oh yes, there we go, using the other edge. Two foot stop, I like that. And one more there, then all the way down. Woo, nice one here. Bruh. Really important when you're managing these drills is a good work to rest ratio. So if they spend about 10 seconds working really hard, 
You want to give them about 30 seconds of a rest before you haul in the whistle next. Otherwise, they'll be exhausted. You see Mason's ready to go, and you can manage that, but it's just the duration, your, your uh, tempo when you're blowing on that whistle. So it's like you're ready to set up for the next one. So this is a different way to use the ice. I'm using the lines. I'm using a double stack of pucks, just as the pylons. If you have pylons, you can use that as well. If you don't, you can even just show the kids and they'll kind of get it, like to go zigzag pattern. Um, for visuals, we're using pucks. Next drill that is great for U9 players is the tight turns. A lot of them are cheating in various ways. So I'm just gonna send Mason through this zigzag pattern. So we've got the blue line, red line puck set up in a zigzag. Great way to use this area of the ice. Let's see how Mason does and what kind of corrections we can do. Ready? So I'll give you a demo. We're basically just gonna follow me. We're going here. Tight turn, around the next one, tight turn, up to the next one, tight turn. Ready? And go. Good acceleration here, tight turn around. Oh, two blades on the ice. I like to see that, two feet on the ice, nice. Same with this one. Lead with the stick. Get that stick on the ice, that's good. And then use your stick as a steering wheel. Woo, there we go. Stick right around there, stick as a steering wheel, nice and low. I like that, good stuff. So a few things that you can call out for the players to do here. Number one way that they cheat is uh, the toe drag. Sometimes they only want to use one foot and they'll drag the other one like this. So they're only having one leg on the ice, kind of cheating like that. You want to make sure you get both blades on the ice, get them low. And the other thing that I like to teach is the split stance. What? moves better a dump truck something low and wide like a dump truck or a street bike i want to turn these kids into a street bike when they're cornering so we go into a split stance you see my stance there right helps me really get that nice tight turn around so whew, let's give that info to mason get him to do it one more time instead of being a dump truck going around those pucks i want you to be a street bike put one your inside leg goes like that right you see that narrow right watch how i do it so my left leg is going to go forwards here Nice tight turn. And then my other leg goes forwards there. Yeah, there we go. Get that speed, accelerate, accelerate. There we go. Stick as a steering wheel like that. And make sure we accelerate out of that turn. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Here we go. There we go, accelerate right there. Accelerate, accelerate, quick feet. And there we go. All right, nicely done. He's getting used to it. We could add a little more speed, but you want to make sure they have the fundamentals first. Oh, let's see it. Let's see with some speed. Right, the better players are gonna go a little faster and get them to accelerate, accelerate, speed, speed. There we go. Tight turn and speed, 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 speed. There we go. Tight turn and speed, speed. There's the toe drag. Right, tight turn, tight turn and speed, 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 speed. Quick feet, quick feet. There we go. And one more and there we go. So a few corrections there. I would like them to control the stick, have it on the ice, not the pitchfork swing like that. I like the quick feet coming out of the turns, but you can see, get the fundamentals first. Once they're good, add some speed to it. And there's a few things to call out while the players are doing it. Always be active and engaged. Hang out around, say, the second turn, make those quick corrections so they can do them throughout the rest of the drill. Let's move on to the next one. The last great U9 skating drill, I like this setup. We're gonna skate forwards to the puck and then backwards to the next one, forwards to the next one, backwards. We're working on acceleration, working on transitions, working on backwards skating all in one drill. Mason's already going, he's gonna show you how it's done. So forwards, transition, skating backwards here. Nice, he's gonna open up on this one. And forward, oh, there we go. You see, it's great. It's just the challenging enough to get the kids going backwards here and Lots of things they can work on. Awareness, he's looking for that puck. He's gonna open up here. Good footwork. Lots of speed here, lots of speed here. And then a little pivot. What I like to teach is to point the heels. So watch my feet here. Instead of pointing the toes all the way around and then turning, no, no. Point the heels first. So we're gonna come up here and point the heels. We're going backwards, right? Here, we're just gonna lift one leg and open up going forwards. We can also use this same setup for the hockey stop. Great little trick for the U9 players, make it fun. You throw your glove down there and tell them you want to see how much snow they can get inside your glove. And you can also stand here, say, hey, see how much snow you can get on my leg, All right? It just motivates the player. All right, this is great. They're working on stopping on their left side, right side, gets them going a little faster. All right, there's a few great skating drills you can use to work on skating for the U9 players. Mason, how'd you like that? The idea behind a drill is it should be just challenging enough. So you can use these for older players if you're working at the house league level or newer hockey players, no problem. 
you want to find something that they can almost do or they, you know, they're, they're okay at it but not great at it. Keep running the drills until they get better, until they can do it with speed and under pressure and then move on to a more challenging drill. So there's a few for you. If you want more, let me know in the comments and we can come out here and shoot some more. You ready? Bruh. Hello darkness, my old friend. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Mason, that was fast. Oh, look out. Injured. Injured. <laughs>